This is why I'm saying I don't know how far down the rabbit hole I want to go with this. This is a, akin to the Macbeth pyramid of sound that we built on the, on the board there. That is very useful in a lot of things. Some people put it like a blanket on everything and then you get yourself in trouble. But uh, one interesting way to think about uh, whether you're conducting appropriately is to watch your video with it on mute. And then consider whether you pulled your roommate over and said, would you do rhythmic dictation? Uh, and tell me what I just did, and see if they're correct. You know, this is, the grads live and breathe this, this psychological conducting, where that's their challenge with Dr. Steele and their colleagues multiple times a week. And, and the idea, the notion is that if you can communicate that to someone without the music, then communicating what's on the page and they're seeing in front of them becomes infinitely easier. So what, the reason that came to mind is if you grabbed your roommate and said, you know, hey, here's this YouTube video, would you tell me what I'm doing? You're going to get an eighth note with a bunch of rest after it with that stead, stop dead gesture. Um, and so I, I think it's more appropriate to continue to move in this instance in that one gesture. Okay, don't, don't mistake uh, or misunderstand. It's not a mistake. I, if you misunderstood, I wasn't clear enough. I don't misunderstand that when I said be careful not to get too high too fast, that I was saying you shouldn't move. Right. You can move, you just have to, you have to keep that full motion in mind while you move so that you don't get too high too quickly. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Cool.